But if a customer goes into Acuity and looks at my calendar, then they think that I'm actually available when I'm not. So how do I fix that? How I fix that is by integrating the two calendars, my Acuity calendar and my Google calendar. If you want to integrate your Acuity scheduling system with your Google Calendar so that you can stop getting double booked, get notified of your Acuity appointments from within Google, and have one calendar with visibility of all of your appointments, then this video is for you. Now, there are a couple of things to know before we get started just to eliminate confusion. The first thing that you're going to want to know is the name of your main Google Calendar. Now, this is a calendar within Google that you want to speak to Acuity, to the Acuity Calendar. The next thing that you're going to want to know is your name of your main Acuity Calendar. And this is the calendar within Acuity that you're going to want to talk to your Google Calendar. And I'm going to show you how to find both of those before the end of this video. And then finally, we're going to discuss how to integrate the two communication preferences and how to test that it's working at all. So let's start then with finding the name of your main Google Calendar. Now, this is the Google Calendar that you want to talk to Acuity, right? So if you go to your Google Calendar, right? Um, you're going to see something that looks similar to this. Now, if you notice over here to the left-hand side, you're going to see a bunch of different names. So what does this mean then? So these names are, are different calendars that are available in my Google Calendar. Now, if you look over here, you're going to see that this is, it looks pretty blank. Like, I don't really have anything going on in life, right? But that's because I don't have these calendars selected. So let's notice if I select ALRP calendar, boom, there's the things that I have on the ALRP calendar right now. And notice that I have an appointment for ALRP calendar at 8 to 9 a.m. on Friday the 17th. Okay, this is important to remember. Friday the 17th, 8 to 9 a.m. But is that all I have going on in life? No, no, it's not. If I click my Jodiana SL Gmail calendar, you can see that I have a lot more going on, right? So where did these, where did these appointments come from? Now, these appointments that are either appointments that I have set um, manually, they might be recurrent, recurring appointments that I've set up. Um, anything, anything that is happening outside of the Acuity scheduling system is happening in this main Google calendar. So the problem becomes, if I look over in my Acuity calendar, which is this page right here, you'll see that it is blank. And so Acuity is not speaking to my Google calendars. And so the problem is when a customer comes to schedule an appointment, they might see this calendar and go, wow, Hurl, I'm, I'm going to schedule an appointment on Friday, the 17th at 8 a.m. because she's available during that time. When in reality, remember that one appointment over here? I'm not actually available. But if a customer goes into Acuity and looks at my calendar, then they think that I'm actually available when I'm not. So how do I fix that? How I fix that is by integrating the two calendars, my Acuity calendar and my Google calendar. So if I go into my Google calendar, my main Google calendar is Jodiana SL Gmail, okay? So how do I find then, now we found our main Google calendar name, how do I find my main Acuity calendar name? So in the Acuity scheduling system, you can have more than one calendar and I need to know which one do I integrate Google with? Um, in order to find that, you can click here on calendar and select this little funnel here to show hide calendars, and it'll tell you what your calendar names are. That's an easy way to find it. And you can see that I have two calendars. I have a fast action calendar. Okay, so let's just say for my main acuity calendar, I'm going to use fast action calendar. So I want fast action calendar to integrate and speak to Jody Anna SL Gmail. So this is how you do it. So you're going to go to your Acuity account, and you'll notice all of these selections over here on the left-hand side. You're going to scroll down and click to sync with other calendars. The minute you do that, you're going to get a list of calendar types that pop up, and you're going to click Google Calendar. Once you do that, you're going to see a button right here to connect to Google Calendar. So click that button, 
And then a screen is going to open that shows you all of your Google accounts. So if you have more than one Google account, you're going to get a bunch of selections here. So once I select my Google account, it's going to say, hey, are you sure that you want to allow Acuity Scheduling System to speak to your Google account? Are you gonna allow Acuity Scheduling to access your Google Calendar? And if you so choose, then click Allow. Now, once you do that, it's gonna take you straight back to that same page that we were just on in the Acuity Scheduling System, but it's gonna look a little bit different. And you'll notice here at the top, it says your Google Calendar integration is incomplete please select at least one calendar to sync. So what's happened at this point is I have just allowed Acuity to speak to Google. So my Acuity scheduling system can speak to my Google calendar, but if I stopped right now, nothing's going to happen. I still have to tell it which calendar to talk to, right? Which calendar in Acuity am I gonna allow to speak to Google, okay? So here is my Acuity fast action calendar. So if I say I wanted to allow my fast action calendar to speak to a Google calendar, you're going to select this and click down and it's going to show you a whole list of items. Now, if you notice over here, this list of items, see there's Jodiana SL Gmail and there's ALRP calendar are the same list of items that are over on this left hand side. Okay, so I'm going to tell it to speak to as the main calendar, Jodiana SL Gmail, all right? And as soon as I've done that, I can tell it to save. And once I've hit save, notice up here it says, says successfully saved settings. Okay, so now, now my Gmail calendar, Jodiana SL Gmail is speaking to my Acuity Fast Action calendar. And so how do I test that? How do I see if that's really working? Well, if you go back out of here and you click on calendar, you will now see that the things that are showing up in my Gmail calendar, right, are all also showing up in my Acuity scheduling system. Okay, so what that's doing now is anybody that comes in to set an appointment, no matter what I've set my availability as, will not be able to schedule over any appointment that is set as busy in my Google Calendar. So now I cannot get double booked for these times where I already have appointments, okay? So now if we go back to sync with other calendars, Google calendars, we're gonna notice that there are some choices that are available to us. So I'm gonna tell you what those choices are. This little checkbox right here says block off time on your appointment calendar from Jodiana SL Gmail. Okay. So what that's doing, if you look here, is it's blocking these off. Now people cannot double book, they cannot schedule over these times because I have said, yes, I want to take all of these things that are available in my Google Calendar and I wanna dump them into my Acuity Calendar and block them off so that nobody can book over those times. If I deselect that and tell it to save, then Acuity is going to allow those times to be booked. Now I'm gonna go here and click refresh and you'll see that my Google appointments are not not any longer in my Acuity calendar. So that is, so if you don't want to get double booked, then you're going to want to check this checkbox right here. Okay. So let's take a look at it the other way. Now let's say somebody comes in and they schedule an appointment for Friday, June 17th at, um, we'll say nine, nine o'clock AM. And now you'll see that I have an appointment scheduled Friday the 17th from 9 a.m. till 9.30 a.m. So if these two calendars are truly integrated, then I should be able to go over and look in my Google Calendar, right? Which Google Calendar? My Jodiana SL Gmail Google Calendar and see that appointment. So now if you look right here, boom, there is that networking call that is scheduled in the Acuity scheduling system. And so now I know the two are integrated, okay? So if you don't want to get double booked, it is very important to check this block right here. I'm gonna tell it to save and you'll see again that the if I refresh this page, that all of my appointments from my Google Calendar are going to pop in over here. 
will have this time blocked off so people won't be able to book here. The other area that you, um, the other choice that you have is to select additional calendars. So additional calendars, meaning the extra calendars over here. So remember on ALRP calendar, I have 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. I have this appointment here that I don't want anybody to be able to book over, okay? So if I go to the calendar syncing page and I click this drop down list, I can find ALRP calendar right here and I can tell it to save. And now when I go back to my Acuity calendar, you're gonna see that that appointment pop up here on Friday, June 17th. So let's do a refresh. And now you will see that ALRP appointment show up right there in the calendar so that nobody will book over it. Now, there are some reasons why this might not show up in your calendar. And if you struggle with that, then you can schedule a call with me and we can discuss, or you can always reach out to the Acuity Scheduling System support team. They have amazing support, so they would be able to help you with that. All right, so Back to um, our agenda. So we have found out the name of your main Google Calendar, the calendar that you want Acuity to talk to. We have identified the main Google Acuity calendar, the calendar that you want Google to integrate with. We have discovered how to integrate them by going to the sync with other calendars page and clicking on Google Calendar, making your selections. And we have also taken a look at um, some of the communication preferences. So which appointments that you want to show up in which calendar and additional calendar visibility. So we have shown you how to add additional calendars to the visibility. And then we've also shown you how to test that it's working. And so just remember that when you're doing your testing and you're going to your calendar page in Acuity, Anytime that you make an update, you want to hit refresh so that it has a chance to show those updates in your calendar. And then you would also want to perhaps hit refresh over here. Although when I made the appointment within Acuity, it populated it very quickly right here in the Google Calendar um, without having to refresh. But if it doesn't show up, then you can hit refresh. Now, I will just mention that uh, some things, some of the other settings within the Acuity uh, scheduling system do make a difference as to whether or not um, the items will show up in this calendar. All right, this has been a video on how to integrate your Acuity scheduling system with your Google Calendar so that you can stop getting double booked, get notified of your Acuity appointments from Google, and have one calendar with visibility of all of your appointments so that your energy isn't scattered amongst multiple platforms. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been empowering for you. If you like this content, please hit that like button, click subscribe, and your feedback that way lets me know uh, what type of content to make for you to help to empower your entrepreneurial journey and your life. Um, and if there are any uh, videos, tech tutorials that you would like to see on my channel, then drop that in the comments below. All right, I will see you next time. And until then, I'm sending you lots and lots of love.